Welcome to Das Geek. I wanted to close out the week of Raspberry Pi videos with my official review on Raspberry Pi. This is my first device as I've mentioned in some of the beginners videos. I've been watching Raspberry Pi from a distance and watching the amazing community that Linux has coming together and building so many amazing things and it was about time that I picked one up and got in there and played with it myself. I was holding out for the chip which is another version of the Raspberry Pi that I had actually pre-ordered and I will be doing a review of that as well. But Raspberry Pi has met all expectations that I've had and exceeded them. It is just a beautiful device. It is so simplistic and that's that simplicity is what makes it such an amazing tool. This is a $35 computer that is capable of doing anything that you need it to on a very small scale but still capable as a regular desktop computer which is more than I can say for most tablets even. You can load Kodi Media Server, you can load a version of Linux on it, they even have a Windows, it's scaled down, Windows version that you can put on this device. It, it has the emulation station or the RetroPie that I installed and you're able to play all of these games. But most importantly, the interface was beautifully designed. The folks who have come together to create this, you are amazing. I mean, you have taken what would take a large company years and years and years and you've produced it in such a small amount of time and you keep adding to it and it gets better and better with every iteration. I am so excited about this community and what RetroPie is going to, not RetroPie, what Raspberry Pi is going to come out with next. I can't believe how quickly I've become addicted to this little device. I have so many computers in my house. I have servers, I have desktops, I have laptops, I have tablets, I have phones, and yet all day I find myself thinking about what I can do with this little computer next because it amazes me and so go out there in the community and check out all the videos of folks who are experimenting and doing these great things with retro uh, Raspberry Pi I keep confusing those two because they're so close to each other and uh, give them the love and support but get out there and play with it yourself it really is beginner friendly I had no experience with these at all except reading a few news articles and I was able to set this up, install an operating system, get ROMs on it, and do everything I needed in hours, um, really less than that, really within an hour of uh, getting the device. And the only time reason it took me a little longer is because I was producing videos while I was doing it. But outside of that, you really can't get an easier computer to set up. This is absolutely geek squeal worthy rating. I can't think of a better device or a better way I should say to spend $35 out there if you can grab it for that 35 to 40 bucks so I just wanted to close out the week to let you know how much I'm enjoying this how much I am thankful to the community of, of contributors to the retro Pi, to the emulation station to raspberry Pi for creating this amazing device I can't see what can't wait to see what you guys do next that's all I have. Until next time, I will talk to you next week with some more geek videos.